Thanks for tuning in to the Dope Vision Experience Podcast. Your boy Frank Nitty. I'm back for another episode. You know how we do. We come with that year-end wrap-up, man. But this year, I got an extra guest with me. You know, he saw some of our previous work, and he wanted to jump on, so I had to definitely tap in with him. Man, I got my boy Meech with me. What up, Meech? Big Meech. Yes, sir. What's good, Gucci, man? What's Gucci, good? Gucci. How y'all doing? And I also got my boy Wallace. You already know Wallace from the town. You know, he be rocking with me. You know, we come with this So y'all? we come with this year in wrap happy, up. Happy holidays. Yeah, you too, bro. Happy holidays, you too, bro. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You yes, know sir. how we do this year in wrap up, man. We got to get our top fives in here. These are our album who we've been listening to. You know, we all be kind of in the chat talking, but we don't really necessarily get down to the nitty gritty. So this is our opportunity to kind of tap in with each other and see what, uh, what our music taste looking like. Like we say every year, man, this is our music taste. If you don't like it, you know you got to deal with it. <laughs> tap in, hit us, <laughs> hit us in talk. the comments. Let us know who, who, you, who you're not agreeing yeah, absolutely, with. Absolutely, man. Yeah. You know how we do it. So we're going to do a round robin, man. We're going to go through. We're going to do our thing. You know, the first thing we're going to pop off, we're going to jump off here with this uh, top five artists of the year, the top five albums of the year. You know what I'm saying? We're going to throw it to Meech first. Let's see what Meech music taste looking like. Let's go, Meech. Yes, sir. Woo, woo. So, all right. So, I'm going to give you guys my top five. Listen, this is not in any order, but I really think that these guys really had an impact this year, man. Um, you know, being as just the, the wide variety of um, music that's out there nowadays, from drill music to, you know, down and dirty hip hop, you know, storytelling. I'm really big on storytelling. So a lot of things that you'll see me talk about is going to be more lyrical driven. Right. And I do got some I do got some bops some yeah. nice 808s and stuff like that. But to kick out, my first one is Conway mm. um, from Buffalo. Um, his album was early on in the year. Um, God, don't make mistakes. Um, to me, that album was 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 one of the best ones that was um that came out this year. Well put together album. The project was, man, it was crazy. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys got a chance to really just go through it, dive deep into it. Some of the tracks were um, in the top 100, so they got some plays like um, Scatterbrain. That was the, the joint with Ludacris. Um, but for the most part, man, oh, also Stress. A lot of people listen to the song Stress because okay. Wallow was at the end talking, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't yeah. know if y'all the outro to that joint which was really yeah. nice um and the interior gas the the feature that he had with um with rick ross and lil wayne man it was a dope it was just a well put together project um 